Hey guys, I'm here and today we are back on Sims 4. Now I have a dog on my lap so if he jumps down then you know what the uh, the sud is. <laughs> He's keeping me company. Um, so today we are doing the second Cornish themed house build. Um, I did one the Cornish unit last week. I think it was last week. This time we are doing the Cornish mine house. Now th these things are everywhere and <laughs> Well, quite literally everywhere in Cornwall and, you know, I'm making one and renovating it into an actual house because obviously they weren't originally built to be a, a house, they were built to mine. So yeah, there is a lot of terraforming and um, gardening involved, uh, I don't know the word. Uh, there's like a really big pond which you see I'm putting in right now and there's loads of plants that go around it. I tried to figure out which trees match the the trees in the in the surroundings which is a nightmare uh, as always it is a nightmare <laughs> just trying to match all the trees because I do try to blend in my houses to the to the um surroundings of the the house so yeah I'd, I'd really just I really did try with this one um so yeah there's a lot of plants that are going into this house which probably is the reason for why this house is quite expensive because uh, <laughs> there is a lot of plants um so yeah uh, we're just doing some of the plants right now now I did this house quite rustic uh, inside. It's not much of a look on the outside but it is kind of on the inside. I mean I've never been really good at um, furnishing. I said in the last uh, Cornish unit build I've never been good at furnishing. Um, but yes that was me just changing my music because I listen to music. <laughs> So yeah, uh, this house has three bedrooms, so one for the adults, one for a teenager or a child. I think I did it, yeah, I, I would say it's for a child actually, and one for a toddler as well. So I, I got in more rooms than I did with the, the Cornish unit, which is really good. So... <laughs> Uh, it has two bathrooms. There is actually an extension. You'll see me putting in the extension soon if I haven't already. If I put it in, I dip, can't remember. Uh, <laughs> so it does have an extension which most of my, or pretty much every my house, doesn't have because it's just a literal rectangle. Most mine houses, but I put in it in an extension. Otherwise, it would absolutely be tiny. Uh, so yeah, I did look at a lot of my house pictures for this, just to give me a clear idea on how to make it look semi. There it is, uh, semi normal. So yeah, there's the extension. That extension has the downstairs bathroom and the kitchen in it. The kitchen is actually quite small. You'll see there are shortly. This it is very small. Uh, so yeah, I did the iconic windows right there. The windows at the very end. Because every mine house has windows at the, at the end. Um, but some of the... Yes. Most mine houses have little windows in the side. So I tried to find decent windows to put on the side. It's actually quite a big house when you look at it. It looks tiny from the outside, but it's a decent size on the inside. So yeah. I actually terraformed. You sh you guys should be proud of me, right? I actually terraformed. <laughs> like, are you guys proud? I actually terraformed. I never terraform because I always f tend to forget about it. It's just one of those features in Sims 4 that you just forget about. <laughs> so I'm quite proud of myself that I actually terraformed so yeah <laughs> so yeah that is it's just 
putting in some more plants. There are plants everywhere because most mine houses in Cornwall are actually in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so they're usually completely surrounded by wildlife and all that jazz. So if you hear my dog slobbering then you know what it is. <laughs> He's a delight. Uh, so yeah, we're just putting in the staircase now. I th I actually quite like the floor plan for this house. It actually turned out really well on the inside. As, as I said, the outside isn't that amazing. It's not that striking or anything. Most mine houses that get renovated tend to be quite contemporary. They they always end up quite contemporary for some reason. Um, but I I did it quite rustic. So, I'm actually really happy with the fact that, well, quite pleased with the chimney. I actually upsized the chimney. What are you doing, dog? Uh, I upsized one of the chimneys to make, like, the big mine house iconic chimney. And I thought that looked really cool. I actually thought about doing that way before I did the um, Cornish unit. So... I was like, we've got a, a, quite a big chimney there that kind of looks like a, a mine house chimney. So let's upscale it and make it look like an actual mine house. It's like, greatest idea ever. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else has actually built a, a mine house in Sims 4. I, am I the first one? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I might be, I might not but <laughs> so yeah just going in the floor plan and the flooring now i did what i did with the cornish unit and did one room at a time so i actually furnished before i actually did the wallpaper because i always struggle to think of a theme and i always end up going way overboard whenever i do the the um wallpaper first so I decided to do the furnishing first and then do the wallpaper so we can build around the furnishings which I think actually worked I'm quite <laughs> I'm quite happy with how it uh, came out so this is the dining room slash study and I thought it looked really good it's it's keeping it in with that rustic feeling and it yeah, it did turn out really well. Just playing with clutter. Always playing with clutter. <laughs> so yeah, this is the dining room. It, it's not that extravagant. It's just... It's got a homey feel to it. And it uh, it worked really well. This is the kitchen and it's actually really small. <laughs> uh, I did think about that. Thinking, should I swap the dining room and the kitchen just to make the kitchen a bit bigger it's like nah a lot when you look at a lot of like cor old Cornish farmhouses the kitchens are tiny so I was like let's get let's go the hallway and just make the uh, the kitchen tiny and make the dining room in the bigger room so it actually works out all right so I'm quite pleased with it. You'll probably see, hear me say that a lot, but I am pleased with this house for once. <laughs> I mean, the Cornish unit came out pretty well, except the floor plan. That was the only downside to the Cornish unit, I think. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So, just putting in some rugs because if you look at an old Cornish cottage and stuff, there are rugs everywhere. I mean, I'm basing this off my grandparents' house <laughs> because they have rugs everywhere. But yeah, it kind of adds to the homey feel. I also added a load of plants into this house as well. So, what do you do, little fidget? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, just doing the living room now. It, again, it had this homey feel to it. It was really rustic and pretty. Do you want to record? Eh? Do you want to make lots of noises? <laughs> and so yes, yeah, adding a load of plants everywhere and rugs. 
Because why not? Just... Yeah. I actually used that rug for the very first time. I, I've i never used that rug. It's from the My First Pets uh, pack. And I've never actually used it before. So it actually it, it fits all right. It doesn't look too bad. So I wanted to put something in that corner and I couldn't think of what to put in it that made it look decent. So I just put in a... Uh, a wardrobe. This bathroom, I tried so hard to match the counters with our little shelf, but I ended up just giving up because everyone knows that the swatches in Sims 4 are terrible, so like nothing matches in the Sims 4 and it's the most annoying thing in the world. So yeah. Now this house has two showers, two baths, well, one shower, one bath, and a joint. You're putting your head on my desk. He's so cute. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, he has two ba two bathrooms. So the the smaller room up here is another bathroom. This is the master bedroom. This room ended up being very yellow. I was like, that's a really nice bedspread. So I'm gonna make everything yellow just to match it because that's how I do things. Everything has to be matching when I when I build. <laughs> so yeah, everything in this room ended up being yellow and I did put in some more sunflowers to match the uh, the bedspread. So you'll see me putting them in a minute. So <laughs> everything in this room is yellow. Like in the light in the Cornish unit there was a blue room and a pink room. Now we've got a yellow room. What colour do you want to see me do next? <laughs> actually that the the, uh, the toddler room in this room is actually really blue as well. So Oh this is me just teaching my mum how to scale up because she came in. It's like, how did you do that uh, chimney? I was like, I scaled up. I am a professional builder. I scaled up. <laughs> she was really impressed. Um, yeah, she she likes playing The Sims, but she doesn't know all the t tricks of the trade. So yeah, this is going to... I've made this out to be a female child's room. So I have put a lot of toys in, which is why I said it was child's and not a teenager's. Oh, we go in, I... Thump. So... Uh, yeah, I made it out to be a female child's room. So I actually did something quite cool here and I put a clothing rack above the mirror. You'll see me put that at, down in a moment. And it actually looks decent. I wanted to put a toy right... Oh, I do put a toy right there. But I wanted a bit more room, so I tried moving the desk, but the desk didn't want to do anything. So yeah, I wanted to put it like a, a wardrobe in here. There it is, but I obviously there wasn't enough space, so I just put it like, like a coat rack above the mirror, and I thought that looked really cool. Here's the toddler room. This room ends up being quite blue. Um, I I have a feeling that I put, well, I put this child as like a, a monster lover, a dinosaur lover, so I put a dragon in and like a monster toy chest. So it gets very blue, this room. <laughs> and there's like a, a toddler measurement height thing. I thought that was pretty cool, just to put by the door. And we are almost done, I believe. Yes, we are almost done. We just got one more room to go, which is this bathroom. So we got a joint shower bath and toilet and sick. There it goes. So we're almost finished here. So I'm going to say I hope you guys enjoyed and please leave a like, subscribe, of course. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed 
This one is like the Cornish unit quite close to me because obviously it's Cornwall and I am Cornish and etc. So <laughs> yes, I hope you guys enjoyed. It was actually a really fun one to build and if you guys want to see me do more Cornish builds please let me know. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. What love means, this is insane You're saying things I can't explain